Hello everyone, now let's talk about the uh, substring. Uh, it's another function, and what is this one uh, doing? My example here, I'm trying to substring from uh, from position uh, one, and then looking for uh, four characters. Substring from position one, four characters only. And then let me go ahead and run this one for you so you can see what I meant here. So from position one, I am. Um, Subs I'm asking to return only the first four character position one first position I'm asking to return four characters only and here is the result another function which is instring uh, what does this one uh, do it is searching for this uh, string inside the entire thing here so and then it's starting from position one so let me go ahead and run this one for you and then what does this one do is return the position for the for uh, for this one. So uh, tests it show up in the first position. So what it does let's return the position for the test. It's in the first position. So this is instring. Moving forward, show you another example, another way of using instring. And uh, this time I'm looking for the letter D in the second position. So this one we left this one to default. So it's from position one. Give me the first one. This one I'm saying from position one. Give me the second T in this string. So uh, let me go ahead and run this one for you. And uh, if you remember, we talked about um, Oracle is a case sensitive. So this is the first T. Will not count this one. And this one, the position seven for the second T. We go ahead and run it and this is the uh, position now moving forward we're going to talk about the uh, date function so we have the first one here we have a system date so if I run this one then it's going to give you the uh, date of the day so and it's uh, 19 October uh, let me show you how we can use this one I have another function for you which is the round uh, function uh, well, well, the round what it does it will round up this date so this is my date it's 19 of October round up will be uh, I'm rounding the month so the month will be the 1st of November I have another round for the year and then because we are in 2015 then this one will be January 1st 2016 so I'm rounding the year in this case uh, uh, moving forward, I'm talking uh, here about the, the truncate. What does the truncate do? It basically will um, will truncate the date, and then this is today date. As you can see, it's the first of October, so 19 now is a one of the same month. And then, if I would like to truncate the year, then in this case it's now uh, 1 January and then 2015 so basically it's the first day of the year we're also using this one so I would give this one uh, a start as well uh, now uh, let me move forward with my examples I guess this one is a duplication so uh, I'm gonna go with the, the this one, which is the uh, next day. Next day, uh, what is this one? It's uh, it's another function, and I'm saying, give me the uh, the date for the next Saturday. So in this case, if I uh, if you can see here, uh, for my date, it will be the next. Um, Saturday which is the 24th so this is the next one and then I'm saying give me the last day of the month and as you can see here this is the last day of the uh, month so uh, this is also another two function now another uh, one we can use also is to use add month for the system day so if we are in October here adding one month then it will be 19 of November so this is another uh, function of using add month uh, moving forward would like to show you add month 
but it's a minus one so it's not a one so and then uh, let me show you what is this more the result for this one and as you can see here is the result is September so adding one month will be November adding minus one then it will be uh, September so uh, then uh, moving forward here uh, there is another one called the month between so for the uh, month uh, between here I'm saying add uh, uh, also not something here I'm using a combination of the function we learned before so month between this add for system day two month and then add for system day minus um, one month let me go ahead and run this one and the result is a three so I'm adding two and then I'm saying from system date minus one the month between those two dates this is the first day this is the second day the difference between those two is three months um, moving forward I'm gonna talk about the uh, another function we learned about system date in my example this one is the system time stamp and as you can see here the result is the uh, day month year and then our minute second so this one basically I am asking for the timestamp date and time not only uh, date uh, moving forward I'm gonna talk about another function which is the uh, novel novel basically uh, what it does it's gonna look for a value here if it's null then it would return the second value if not then it will return the first value in my example here because this one is a not and this is one not null value this one is not a null value then what it does is gonna return the x itself now here in my second example I am passing a null value then what it does it return the second value so this one is not null so it's return the x this one null it's return the uh, one here I have those clearly I'm putting those two together so as you can see here x and one because it's null uh, now a uh, question for you what if I am passing the uh, space or if I am passing just a single quotation let's see how is the noble behave it's very important so you give this one a star because uh, some of the program are fall into the, the uh, these things so let, let me make sure you understand this the space is considered a, a space so it's not a null also this one is not uh, this one is uh, considered as a null so it is one so if they have nothing, that means it's null. The space is not considered as a null. So it's, we are passing the space. While if you use the trim, remember we talked about the function trim. It's really, really now became tricky. Uh, because uh, uh, because the uh, space is considered as a null. So uh, if I use uh, the trim function here I just want to make sure uh, you totally understand the how, you, uh, how we are using uh, the trim uh, with the with the other function so if I use the trim for this so I guess you would expect here the result for this one will be 1 right because uh, because sorry uh, because the if you trim the space it became a null and then if you use a novel for the null then it's gonna return one so this oh, so this is how it work when you use a trim with a novel uh, moving forward I'm gonna talk about the uh, decode um, Deco, what is this one? I give this. I will give this one as a star. We are using this one a lot. So deco, what it does is gonna compare this with this. If it's equal to return one, 
if not it will return to so let me go ahead and run this one so because this one equal to this one then it return one otherwise it will return two I have this example where it will uh, return two so in this case this one not equal to this so it's return this value this is important uh, function we and we are using this one uh, a lot uh, I have another here another example for you so instead of using dual actually I would like to show you uh, like how it look like when I am using um, a real table so if I query this one this table and then I'm using give me the uh, first value second value and then here I'm using the decode function sorry same idea here so I'm saying if region ID equal to region name then say match otherwise say no match which in this case it is a uh, no match so uh, this is how it's work for the uh, decode uh, moving forward uh, I gonna actually I gonna stop here because I would like to really I would like you to focus on the case statement the case statement is so important and we are using case statement a lot, so let me uh, pause the video here.